around XRP and XLM has been pretty interesting as of late to say the least. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in this video. All I ever ask is if you do like Ripple and Stellar, smash the like button, give us a big thumbs up. Definitely helps get our voice out there. Of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, join our community. We talk about XRP and XLM every single day. Now, when we take a look at XRP at the time of this recording, we are down on the day 3.41%. We don't have any volume coming in and we're sitting at 48 cents, right? Now, if we take a look back seven days, seven days from the time of this recording, we had a big pop. What was that big pop due mostly to? Mostly to the amount of briefs that have came out in support and the companies and organizations that have come out in support of Ripple and support of helping Ripple get past the SEC. I think most of us out here understand that at this point, SEC is losing, the SEC is losing this battle. Okay, Ripple is winning. When we take a look at this chart, it is being based a lot on these on these vertical these vertical moves like this are being based off these small victories when we take a look at XLM basically the same thing we know that when we get small victories for the ripple and I'm not trying to downplay that at all don't take that as me trying to downplay this because it was uh, substantial to hear that Coinbase and the likes of others like the Blockchain Association coming out and going to fight for Ripple, that is a very, very big deal. But what happens is typically the market will do an overreaction and then correct a little bit. And what we're really hoping for going forward is to see a next our next leg up, our next pop this upcoming week. Now, here's an article came out just a couple days ago. It says, XRP price surges over 8% in 24 hours, boosted by events and Ripple's SEC lawsuit. I'm not going to read through this whole thing for you, but it's basically saying a lot of what I have been saying. You know, we did test that 50 cent mark just the other day. We saw initial really nice pop. And what we really want to get past in this upcoming week is that 55 cent barrier. That is where we are stuck. And we have a lot of support in the 55 cent re uh, area. We take a look out, you know, three months out, you can see right, right around 54, 55 cents. That is what we need to pass to get our next leg up. So I'm going to ask all of you out there as an audience, when do you think we hit that $1 mark? Because likely we get past the 55 cent, we hit the 60 mark, but then I believe we are in uncharted territory and will likely move upwards to the one dollar mark and i believe it could potentially happen before we get any kind of results from the sec versus ripple case let me know your thoughts or perspectives in the comments section below i'm molt money subscribe if you haven't already and i want to leave you with this little tidbit from elon musk it does get a little speculation going around xrp if you know what i mean see you in the next one there's a product plan I wrote, which I wish I kept a copy of in July of 2000, where I thought it would be possible to make the most valuable financial institution in the world. And we're, we're going to execute that plan from 22 years ago, which amazingly no one has done. And, and so I, I think, that's sort of part of why I think Coda will be ultimately extremely valuable, because I'm going to execute the X.com game plan or 22 years ago, um, with some improvements, um, and um, and we're also going to obviously make Twitter just a way better system.